So you're trying to create videos as a one man or woman marketing team. And whenever you watch back what you've created, it just feels like it didn't live up to the expectations and the ideas you had in your head. What if this video sucks? Like nobody watches it, except for my mom. Meanwhile, creators like Hormozy and Cody Sanchez and Ali Abdal seem to have such well-polished, value-packed and binge-worthy content. Many of these creators have teams dedicated to creating this content, but there's still plenty that we can learn and apply from their methods to create impactful and engaging videos of our own. I'll share with you what I learned from studying Alex's videos and how he uses these methods to create videos that we just can't get enough of. By now, Alex Hormozzi is basically a household name and it feels like he just keeps growing and growing. There's certainly no shortage of those who just outright mimic Hormozzi's style. And while I don't advocate for copying someone, I do think that there are several lessons that we can learn from his approach to content creation. He talks about his method for content and $100 million leads, diving into the strategy and what he calls hook, retain, reward. It's a great system, and if you haven't yet, I highly recommend checking out his book. Basically, the concept is this. You hook attention by getting them to notice your content, getting your ideal audience to notice what you're creating. And then you retain the attention by getting them to consume it, interact with it. And you reward the attention by satisfying the reason that they consumed your content to begin with. And while I think this is a great strategy, I think it's an incredible format. I also, as someone who's been in the video production industry for a while, video marketing, running my own boutique creative video company, I can't help but notice a few things that seem to be fairly consistent on the video production side. And while I may not have the reach or the community or the calves that Alex has, I have the best calves ever, right? I do understand video content at least enough to share some of the things I've noticed. But before you ever sit in front of the camera and hit record, there's a framework to follow. Number one, know your subject matter. While this seems incredibly obvious, it cannot be overstated. If you have a deep understanding for what you're sharing, even a passion, it will come through in your delivery. Check this out. The problem is not that you don't have enough leads. The problem is you can't afford them because your product sucks. Like this is the problem. You can almost feel his conviction for what he's sharing. And if you're just passively sharing content, parroting what you've heard from others, it will be incredibly evident and it won't be very appealing. Number two is share real valuable insight. Alex talks about this often, about giving away your best stuff for free, even saying you should avoid content that he calls sucky fluff. And this is incredibly important in a world of unlimited options for content and information and resources. And so many people are afraid of giving away too much, but another idea that Alex shares that couldn't be more true is information is free, implementation is what you pay for. And if you're the one who shares genuinely valuable content, isn't that a pretty great first impression to make? Uh, and number three, speak to the camera as if you're presenting to the one person that needs to hear the information you're providing. Another basic one, I know, and if you've ever watched any video content guides, this may be some 101 material, but if you're thinking about the person who really needs what you're sharing, it will help you to maintain a sincerity behind your delivery. Now for the production, the fun part. Alex has used several different setups or variations of production, some of them on the more complicated side and others on the very minimal side. And for the sake of what we're looking at, let's break down this type. We'll keep things really simple because as a one man or woman operation, simple is always best, right? Here's what you'll need. A main light source, a key light, camera or a phone, a tripod, a mic, and that's it. By this point, you've established a basis of what you'll be speaking on. I suggest using an outline or bullet points or a script if you need. Uh, and using this Hormozy method to create your videos, you can start creating more value-based content for your audience. And you don't need a team to do it. 